Now, how did you decide to put this work together? This your game. How did you decide to put them together uh, so that they can become something to offer to schools, to institutions, to places, so that people can have value for it? Tell me about how you decide to organize it, package it, and the rest of it. That is important for me. Yeah, I think that is uh, is it started around the table in my own house with my children. I have four children, and I was seeing how the game was impacting them, impacting them. The the player like we we the game it take like two to four people to play, but when we were playing, we were four. My daughter who was at least um, she was like at that time she was like five years old. She usually not know like the, the, the meaning of the question and everything, but she was attracted by the color of the flag and everything. I had also a game with flag. And I found that when we are playing, actually she was retaining most of the, the flag. This is Cameroon, this is Senegal, this is Nigeria, this is, I say, wow. So the earlier you start, the better it is for the children to retain things about Africa. So don't think that when they will be old, they will get into the books themselves. No. So we start at home from scratch. I will call out the paper. I will do things and everything. I ask them questions, they answer and everything. And I tell them, why? what do you think about this? Oh, is it too difficult as a question or you think it's about? So I, I build everything with them. I chose the color with them. I chose the, the way uh, someone, we, we did the game trial at home. And then we say, okay, we need it in such a way that it can be commercialized. So at least we, we can uh, invest in it and then see how we can build something bigger than that. And uh, then we hire someone, a specialist to do that, like a designer and all of this. But everything was uh, built at home. Everything we want, we just transmit the idea to the specialist and he did like uh, the, the, the package we like, he did the design we like and everything. But we start at home. So it's exactly what we want that we gave to him for him to create. He didn't have to add any idea or anything. He just has to build what my children and I were thinking we will uh, put together for the world to know. And we knew also that this one we help not only our own family, but we help the older family. And is 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 what you are doing about storytelling. I love it. Why? Because we are diaspora. When I do event, I have another event that we talk to you about called Teaching Africa Day. We in the diaspora, we are hungry. We are hungry to know about the other black people. We are hungry to know each other. We are hungry to build something together. You understand? And storytelling is the best way to do the bridge because when I know your story, I know you better. Everything you don't know, you're afraid of it. And why being afraid of it? So you create all kinds of barriers for the person not to come closer to you. But when you tell me your story, I get closer to you. And I, I give an example, like uh, I remember how uh, uh, Africa was represented before Nollywood. You will tell me, okay, it's another expression. But trust me, Nollywood changed a lot the way we see Nigeria and Africa. Because I will meet people who are American, who are buying, at that time we were buying tapes before uh, Netflix and all of this. We buy tapes. So a movie were coming every Friday and I will go and buy the movie. I will meet in the store, African-American, I will meet Caribbean, I will meet, and we are all in the store trying to get the next one. And one will tell you, oh, I watch it. This is not really, the end, I didn't like it and everything. And this is the diaspora dis discussing in a store. And we are all buying Nigeria movie. Why? We can find ourselves in those people. You can imagine, okay, she's perhaps from a poor village, but you imagine also what happened in your village. But it's the same. So we are the same everywhere we are. We have the same story everywhere. So telling the story helps us to come closer to each other. And then after that, we have a multiplication of festival, African festival, Pan-African festival, where actually you find 
all of the diaspora. Why? Because there's so true movie that we are alike. We have the same story. So we come and find ourselves listening to the same dance, to the same music, and, and we became closer and closer. But it starts with Nigerian movie. Thank you for that. that. That is what story does for us. Story humanizes us. It makes us human. Um, mm -hmm. Stories are powerful uh, in that it, it gives us identity. It gives us name. It builds us. It makes us who we are. Exactly. Now, apart from the father's story, actually uh, gives us also the vision, the dream. But he also managed to help us to be able to find our place in the world. Mm -hmm. And story also help us to be alive. I remember in one of, in one of the books in the series, the five book series of storytelling uh, that I just finished, mm -hmm. I was saying that how could our ancestors in Africa many thousands of years ago have been able to survive? They managed to survive because of the story that they know, because of the information that they know. Mm -hmm. In that they were cohabiting this small space in the world with some of the most dangerous animals in the world. How could they manage to survive? Because they know where the danger is to avoid. Mm -hmm. Not only that, they also know where the food is to go. Exactly. Because you need to eat. At this time, there was no agriculture. Agriculture has not yet been invented this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you still need to eat. Because Human beings eat from the, uh, from the fruit of the earth. And uh, that fruit of the earth need to, is, is basically a cycle. You know, in, the, in, um, in economics, where you are growing up, that is what they call food web, and um, mm -hmm. a food, food chain and food web. In that what you eat have a way of going back and turning back again. But what I'm actually saying there is that before agriculture was invented, you needed to know where the food is so that you can eat. Exactly. And you need to know what to avoid because you can't mm -hmm. eat everything now. How do you know mm -hmm. what to eat? All these are stories. You see, so storytelling, I think, is very powerful. It is something mm -hmm. that we should all be learning about because mm -hmm. it helps us to, to know who we are and it humanizes who we are. Mm -hmm. And in the time of war, too, it helps us to define what we need to fight for and what we need to die for. And even beyond that, it also gives us where we need to go when we die. What you are saying is true. What you are saying is definitely true. That is uh, not only humanize us, it brings us closer. It learn, it helps us know our history. Because even if you are, <laughs> I remember once when you are talking, I remember once I went to Chicago, okay? And I brought, 400 games in Chicago, 400. So it was like a pyramid. It was huge. And um, on that time, uh, I remember why I'm telling this story, I don't even know. But on that time, I, uh, by the end of the festival, it was an African festival on five days. On that time, I went on radio, exactly like you, someone interviewed me in the morning. And he asked me, why you bring so many games? Why you did even this game now? And I look at, at him just simply and I say, because I think it's a time the black people come together. He look at me. He said, why you can say something like that? I said, hey, this is a time I feel is a time that through, uh, I use perhaps my game, you use storytelling or we use different means. But this is the time for the black race to come together because we have been disseminated everywhere. And she said, uh, okay, can you tell me why? And I tried to tell her why I create my game. Actually, I create my game like a tool to do a bridge, but at the same time to bring people together through knowledge. Because if I know what you know, B, and you know what Paulette know, hey, we have something in common. We have knowledge, okay? So I say, this is why. And what happened in that festival, Obey, I didn't know the power of radio. Before the end of that night, I sold all of my game. I have grandma who came from, I don't know which part of Chicago. They bought like 10 games. The other one, just because I say, this is the time that the black race has to come together. 
And it was the same year where President Obama became president. 